All right, so the meetings are uh, recorded. I will make the, the recordings available um, maybe a, the week after um, so that you can review the materials. Um, if you missed the class or uh, for some reason uh, couldn't you know, hear me clearly, I hope the recording will provide you um, some ways to review. Uh, if you want to contact me, please use the, the mail function in Blackboard instead of using uh, the UMass Low email directly. Office hours, uh, we use the same Zoom link uh, as the class meeting ID. And it's going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Um, I will skip that. So we talked about the lab kits. Basically, that's the Arduino development kit I was uh, talking about. Uh, that has to be purchased by, by you uh, so that you can work on the lab uh, at your convenient time and location. The textbook is free, so that's the good news. Um, all the course materials are going to be posted on Blackboard uh, week by week. Also, I will populate this GitHub repository. Um, this is where you can find any sample code I will include for these lab assignments and additional instructions. I will release all these course materials every week. So you can expect on every Monday uh, you will be able to uh, see the new materials, the new lecture notes, uh, homework or lab assignments, if any, uh, every Monday. We have four homeworks. Um, it's essentially once every three weeks. You need to answer them in properly written English and also correctly answer the questions. We have three labs uh, once every three weeks. Um, and you need to, you know, basic working teams, uh, complete the lab assignments, produce the expected result, and write a lab report. We will have two exams that includes include one midterm, one final. Uh, for the grading and how the grades are assigned, um, you can refer to the table in the syllabus. Um, I want to emphasize um, the different requirements for EEC 4520 and EEC 5520 sections. There will be actual requirements in all the labs for EEC 5520s students. Um, there will be actual questions in the exam for the graduate level students. About the labs, uh, you need to form student teams. You can have up to three students in a team. Um, you cannot um, form teams across course numbers. Uh, that means you cannot have a team with students from both 4520 and 5520. Um, the group lab report must detail the individual contributions. Attendance to classes is expected. Please join the Zoom sessions uh, on time with your lab, uh, with your webcam turned on. And for lab demonstration, uh, we require all the team members to be present. All coursework should be submitted to Blackboard. You will follow the proper links to submit your work. You will get um, Lay the penalty on your submissions, uh, homework and labs, be 4% a day and, uh, or 20% a week. There will be no additional assignments given beyond the posted assignments. Textbook is free. 
you can download from this link. Uh, we will use the textbook as a roadmap to discuss theoretical concepts and methods. Um, at the same time, we will also discuss concrete examples on hardware and software design and debugging and op optimization of these embedded systems. And for that, we will require you to have this uh, development kit and uh, you know, software programs um, associated with these um, hardware units. So you can expect in you know, today and the future lectures, I will um, start with some theoretical concepts, uh, some examinations, analysis, and examples. And usually at the end of the lecture, uh, I try to um, show you um, some concrete designs um, which may help you to work on the lab assignments. A little bit detail about the lab development kit. Um, this is the uh, Arduino Mega 2060. Um, that's the, the board here. Um, I think I can show you what I have. Um, this is the one, um, if you can see it. Um, within this kit, um, it has, um, you know, a very good amount of um, accessories, sensors, uh, um, IC chips, and even the jumper wires. Um, this is really a handy development kit that you can own for this course and also for your future, you know, uh, interest, uh, you know, interesting projects. Um, we'll use many of these components, for example, buttons, uh, seven segment displays and two line text LCDs, joystick, gyro and accelerometer sensor, uh, real time clock sensor, and um, uh, the IR receiver and uh, remote control. We'll also use uh, motors and driver chip and uh, driver module. We'll use the power supply for the um, DC motor uh, or battery. And also we use LEDs to uh, show the status. And to connect these components uh, on breadboard, you need to have jumper wires, uh, which are included in this kit. Um, so I showed you uh, two options on Blackboard. This link takes you to the, um, the kit on Amazon. Uh, the section, uh, the, the, the other option, which is allow, uh, allow you to buy individual parts, but just be aware that uh, for some parts, um, you have to do uh, soldering by yourself uh, because when you buy those individual parts, um, they may just come into as a pieces to you need to do soldering. For this kit, uh, everything has been soldered. Uh, so you can plug these, for example, this RTC module directly on the um, breadboard. So if you have additional questions about these uh, development kit and the individual parts, we can probably talk about it uh, after the session today, individually if you want. 